Hello there. Welcome to the presentation on abstract factory design pattern. This is the first part of the two part video where we're going to take a look at abstract factory design pattern class diagram in the first part. And in the second part, we are going to take a look at the implementation. So let's start with a simple class diagram to explain what is the abstract factory design pattern. So here is a definition and don't worry if you find this definition confusing. We'll go into more details of this but let's start with a simple example. So it's a design pattern that provides an interface for creating families of related or dependent objects without specifying their concrete classes. So what we're seeing here is we have an interface for creating objects and the class which is the client in this case is not dependent on any of the concrete objects so here is the example we have two types of products one is a Toyota Camry the other one is the Honda Accord so they are both cars and they inherit from car abstract class so Essentially, we have an abstract class and two different types of products. Camry and Accord are both similar products, but they are produced by different companies, as we all know. And we also have a family of factories. Camry is produced by Toyota factory and Accord is produced by Honda factory. And that's the relationship between Toyota factory and Camry that it's produced by Toyota factory and Honda factory produces a card and they are both both the factories Toyota factory and Honda factory inherit from factory which is an abstract concept here but this behavior of creating a car that is get car is overridden by both the factories by the same logic we have the car abstract class which is extended by Camry and Accord and both have they both have drive overridden methods which is actually something provided as a skeleton in the car abstract so the idea is here is the client the client does not know Camry or Accord that are concrete objects the client which is an application it could be a class it could be anything that is interacting with the factories Toyota factory and Honda factory to get these two cars but if you see this diagram there is no dependency or association between client and Camry or client and Toyota factory or with Honda factory or Accord everything is through factory so the client knows factory client knows car but the client application or class does not know concrete product or concrete factory and that is the idea so now going back to abstract factory design pattern definition, I hope it makes sense saying provide an interface for creating families of related or dependent objects. Family here is a car, but there is no specification of the concrete class. Okay, so this is a slightly different version of the same class diagram, exact same classes. But the difference here is the client and the abstract factory and the client and the abstract product they have an association relationship and this is a different kind of relationship as compared to dependency which was in the previous class diagram everything else stays the same we have the abstract factory which is um, extended by two concrete factories Toyota factory and Honda factory and then we have an abstract product car which is extended by Camry and Accord which are concrete products the difference is association which is a stronger form of depend stronger form of relationship between two classes in case of association we are looking at instance variables in client that are of the type factory and of the type car whereas in the previous diagram where we had a dependency we were looking at the client class or an instance of the client class using factory or car data type 
in its method as input parameter or as a local method variable. That's the, the only difference. But this is another way you will find the class diagram of abstract class, abstract factory pattern in many cases. Here is the third version of the class diagram. And this time there is a slight difference. We still have the abstract factory, Toyota factory, Honda factory, and we also have the abstract product. But now we have two different families of products. I have aircraft, and believe it or not, Honda and Toyota have both tested aircrafts. Um, if you look up Wikipedia or other resources, you will find um, some reference to these two aircrafts. And that's what I have here. I have an aircraft abstract product and a concrete product that is TAA1 and then HA420 for Honda. And Toyota factory has test run and produced TAA1 in the past and Honda factory is still doing flight runs or test runs for HA420. So this is my second family of products. And this was the first one with Camry, Accord, and Car. So the same factory, Toyota factory, has got two methods now. The first one for get car and the other one for get aircraft. Similarly, Honda factory has got get car and get aircraft. But the dependency between client and factory or client with abstract product is the same. The client knows what an abstract product, like in this case, car and aircraft, the client knows factory, which is the abstract factory in our example, but the client has no dependency or association on concrete factories like Toyota factory or Honda factory and no dependency or association with any concrete product like Camry, Accord, TA1 or HA420. So that's the basic idea is you are isolating concrete factories and concrete products from the client code.